there is a great satisfaction in the fulfilling feeling that comes in connecting with Mother Nature. The manner in which we associate with forest and the ecosystem is very crucial and determines the various in interventions that are geared towards protecting and conserving it. My name is Caroline Kericho, a biodiversity conservationist. Always remember that everything we do or we don't do impact the future generations. Our way of living highly impacts Mother Nature, either positively or negatively. Kirisia Forest is a 92,000 hectare forest reserve located in the Samburu heartland. It is one of the oldest state forest reserve in Kenya gazetted in the year 1933. Its interest features a precipitous mountain with woodland and big gallery with high meadows. The northern side forms steep slopes with a shell of sheer, granitic bare rocks and deep seasonal river valleys. The forest serves as a lively water catchment, respectacle and the headwaters for many streams that supply water to the numerous Samburu communities. Also known as Lerogi, the forest is endowed with rich biodiversity of different, unique species of flora and fauna. It is not only a rich habitat for wildlife, but also a hotspot for biodiversity conservation and a potentially important attraction for tourism. Significant wildlife habitat and host diverse species like the elephants, the bushback, zebras, olive baboons, Maasai giraffe, the lions, spotted hyenas, cape buffaloes, giant forest hogs, variety of monkey species among others fauna. With dominant aviana species like the martial eagles, the sunbirds, tambourine doves, the forest is also characterized with diverse vegetation, with woody species dominating the canopy such as the Ole Africana, Junipera species, Podocarpus, Crotomegalocarpus, Teclea, among other shrubs and other species of trees. The Kirisi Forest Reserve provides for the well-being and the livelihood of the local community and for their cultural and spiritual meaning. This unique relationship with the forest has enabled the community to safeguard the different biodiversity and also enhance the need to bring back the traditional knowledge on conservation and integrate these two generations. My name is Kambaki Paul Olaikipiani. I work for Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, coordinating a program on uh, participatory forest uh, management here in Kirisia Forest. And um, this project is funded by Global Environment Facility, Level 5. So this program is about participatory forest management, where we are working with the stakeholders those who have a stake in the management of the forest, led by KFS, we have KWS, we have um, KFRI, we have um, NMK, we have um, Forest Society of Kenya, we have the county government, department Recently, of environment. Recently, efforts of multi-stakeholders involvement, especially the local community engagement in the rehabilitation and conservation of the forest reserve through awareness and purposive sensitization program has been significant in restoring this ecosystem. More than 5,000 people who had encroached and illegally settled in parts of Kirisia forest, mainly for livestock grazing fields and water access, voluntarily moved out.
We have been conserving this forest for many years and passed the same to generations. The community members are fully involved in conservation and protection of this forest. Anyone who interferes with these forests undergoes a punishment from the community elders, which includes being engaged in activities geared towards protecting the forest. The forest has a variety of indigenous tree species that are of key value to the community including herbal and medicinal benefits for diseases such as pneumonia and common cold. During the dry season, our livestock depends on leaves from these trees as a source of food. Also during the security period, especially between the Trukana and Pokot, we use this forest as a hiding place. Hence, we have to ensure total protection of the forest. The beauty in our country, in our motherland, the nature, spending your time to meditate in such a forest, the beauty that lies in it. I think we should all appreciate these beautiful scenarios. Just come here, relax from the bustles and the hustles of life. We need that moment. We need that relaxing time to just meditate, listen to the rivers, listen to the birds, and watch the trees and the leaves as they grow. What else do you need? Let's come, promote our motherland. Let's come from 